Hi friends, it's Tyra. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to refresh my client's color. She comes to me once a year to get the pretty much the same color, which is a level seven copper red on her root and then a level eight copper color on her ends. The past two times, however, she has gotten a blonde patch in the front. So you guys have to excuse me because I didn't realize that the beginning footage of this video was a little bit um, out of focus. I mean, you can see what's going on, but it's not the best, but it does correct itself. So the first thing I'm doing is applying lightener on her root. We have tried in the past to get the color that she wants without lightening. I was using a high lift color, but it just wasn't as light and um true as she wanted so now what we do is lighten it to about uh till it gets to like an orange level and then i apply the color then so i'm just putting the lightener with i am using a blonde solution uh lightener with uh 10 volume i apply it from root to about the end of her new growth and then here as you see me going back in i'm making sure i'm getting any spots on the scalp that I didn't get and also bringing the color down past the end of her new growth and into the area that used to be the darker root just so that we can lighten that up a little bit. So I'm just going through and making sure that I am not missing anything and um, getting the lightener everywhere that it needs to be. After getting the hair as light as I need it to be, I do neutralize the hair to make sure the lightener has stopped working. I do my midway treatment just to make sure I'm keeping the integrity of her hair intact throughout the process. And then I have her back at the bowl where I'm applying her root color, which is the darker color I told you she likes. So darker red copper color. So we're going through with that first, applying it to all of her roots throughout her head. And then I am going back in and applying the color for the ends. And as you can see here, I'm using the comb to comb down the root color and then blending it in with the a lighter color so that it's a nice nicer transition um, in between the two colors. So I'm just gonna go through. Well, you see here, I'm combing it down and then I'm applying the other color and I will comb through it again also just to make sure that every strand is getting color. Uh, curly hair can um, curl up on you and sometimes the color is not evenly spread but when you when you comb through it it allows you to hit every every strand and make sure the hair is fully saturated so that you can get the color that you want okay so now it's time to do that uh, front blonde patch that I that I mentioned earlier so um, it is a little bit uneven because like I mentioned before she had the darker root and then she had um, new growth so what I'm going through is is just applying reapplying lightener on those darker pieces just getting it everywhere where I see that is not as light as the ends of her hair. I do not leave this on for long because I still want to keep the integrity of her hair and being as this is reapplying lightener, I know that it is, um, there's potential for her curl pattern to straighten some more and I don't want to do that, not to the point where it does not match the curls on the rest of her head. So, I'm just applying that, just tapping it where it needs to be. And I do apply a fo another foil in between because not all of the partings that I take have the darker pieces in the same exact spot. So I just want to make sure that I'm avoiding getting lightener on the lighter pieces that don't really need it. So I don't want to put lightener on here and then have it lay over pieces that don't need it so I do separate as I go through and just try to get the hair just a tad bit lighter in certain areas. 
So now we're at the shampoo bowl. I have already shampooed her hair and I'm going to use this uh, platinum toner from Blonde Solutions. I've never used it before and um, to be honest, I am uh, well aware that not all parts of this section is as light as it needs to be in order for this to perform to its optimal um, potential, but I still used it anyway. She really likes to keep this part really, really bright. Um, so I'm just going to try it and, I, and try to um, see how well it works on the parts that are as bright as it needs to be. But I just did not want to risk lightening her hair any longer um, and potentially straighten that section of her hair more than the rest. I was trying to keep the curl pattern as close as I possibly could. So as I explained before, when you comb things through, you make sure that it's on every strand. So that's what I'm doing. And after I comb that through, I am applying a color treatment on the hair. What that color treatment is going to do is bring the hair back to its proper pH after these chemicals that we used. And it's also going to help the color last longer. Um, if you don't know, reds or colors with red in them fade a little bit quicker. So I'm doing everything that I can to make sure that her color will look beautiful for and vibrant for as long as possible. So now that her hair color is completed, it is now time to blow dry. I am using the Color Fanatic by Pureology. And I'm also using a My Love and Health Protect Me Serum. I was trying to tilt her around so you guys can see what her curls are looking like. And as you can see, the blonde is a little looser than, than the rest. But it's nothing that her hair can't bounce back from. Um, I know in her hair, I know it'll be fine and it'll be um, right back to being a consistent curl with the rest. So I applied those products to protect her hair from the blow dry. And as you can see, I'm using my trusty paddle brush um, and I'm using my um, twin turbo blow dryer on medium heat. Now I will not be straightening her hair because she uh, has been working out, so she had a boxing class schedule for the next morning. So uh, she was just like, what's the point of even straightening it? Um, the reason she gets her color done is um, because she's keeps up with it as far as doing um, protective styles, doing braids, doing um, natural styling, I meant, um, and doing braids and such. So... Shoni comes to me for the color and she takes care of everything else. So yeah, I'm just going to finish blow drying her hair and then we're going to trim it. And um, she's like I said, she's going to go out without her hair straightened. Um, yeah, and she'll take it from there. So just stay tuned. Keep watching. So now that it's time for the trim, I am going to through and giving a temporary guideline on the bottom just so that I stay where the uh, client agreed where they wanted their hair cut. Um, sometimes the nape is a little bit um, more, needs a little bit more cut off than the rest of the hair. Um, you most definitely want to get rid of as much uh, split ends as possible. Um, but you want to make sure that if the rest of the hair does not need that much cut off, um, you uh, have another guideline for the rest of the hair and not the nape area. In this case, it wasn't that much of a difference, but sometimes there is a big difference. So I just like to just, just cut a little bit off so I can um, make sure I stay around where... Uh, my client and I discussed um, so you know there's no issues in the amount of hair that I trim off 
whether they need it off or not. So that's just out of habit. This particular client uh, suggested that I cut off as much as I could. We're still keeping it um, with a decent shape. So that's what I went in and did. Um, I took off what she needed off the bottom and then I did go in and address the layers um, making sure that the hair was cohesive so when she does her natural styling you know it, it looks um, even and it looks like it has a nice shape to it so as you can see I'm just pulling the hair up and trimming um, the layers as well so this is what it looks like when it's done I am spraying my um, shine spray on it which is going to moisturize her hair as you can see here the root is a little bit deeper red transitioning into the copper color and then of course she has a bright blonde piece in the front and that's um, how she likes it she likes to braid her hair often and she's figured out a method on how to get these colors um, with braids so this works for her let me know what you guys think in the comments below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video